Electric circuits question 6. A data logger is used to record the current in a series circuit powered by a new cell until zero current flows. It plots the graph shown. Part A. If the internal and load resistance in the circuit give a combined value of 5.7 ohms, calculate the initial EMF of the cell. Well for this we need the equation EMF is equal to current multiplied by load resistance plus current multiplied by internal resistance, which we can write like this. The current from the graph is about 0.26 amps and the combined resistance, big R plus little r, we're told is 5.7 ohms, giving an EMF of 1.5 volts. Part B. Estimate the total charge transferred by the cell. Well, current is equal to transfer of charge divided by time taken, and so the charge transferred is equal to the current multiplied by the time taken. The graph has current on the y-axis, time on the x-axis, so current multiplied by time is just the area under the graph. I can estimate that with a shape something like this. I've gained a little bit here, but lost a little bit there. So I can say that my charge transferred, delta Q, is equal to 0.26, the height here, multiplied by the average width of this space, which is 2.2 at the top, 3.4 at the bottom, so I find the average by adding these together and divided by 2. Not forgetting that my time is in hours, so I need to multiply this by 60 to get it into minutes, and multiply by 60 again to get it into seconds, giving a charge transferred of 2.6 times 10 to the 3 coulombs. Part C. If the cell produced an average EMF of 1.3 volts, calculate the work done by the cell. Well, the EMF is equal to the work done over the charge, which I can rearrange as the work done or the energy transferred is equal to the EMF multiplied by the charge. The EMF, we were told, is 1.3 volts, and the charge transferred we found at 2.6 times 10 to the 3 coulombs, giving an energy transferred of 3380 joules or 3.4 kilojoules.